Hey guys, Juggernaut here, or SRK Network on PS4. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get armor like I have on. And this is the starting armor, and it doesn't really look that good, and it doesn't have that much defense. And when you're starting off, you just want that nice armor. Because I know I did, and I was struggling, because everyone else had nice armor, and I didn't. I was going to buy crowns to get like a one of those looking packs or whatever. I don't know what they're called. They're like the, uh... I don't want to call them a disguise, but they look like a disguise. So basically this is what I have on, and I got all this uh, using the method that I'm going to show you today. Just give you a quick twirl around. Because, <laughs> uh, what, this also helps with weapons. Uh, so what you're really going to do is come to Skywatch. And this town is uh, it's north of the Vekelgard town. And you should uh, be able to get there with maybe at least an hour or two of gameplay. I mean, it's level 5, maybe higher. Uh, okay, maybe a little higher than level 5, maybe around 7, 5. You should be able to get here pretty, pretty easily. If you're at least a high, not a high, but like a decent level and you have a nice weapon. So what you want to come is you want to go through the entrance and you want to go to the left. And, uh, on the left you'll just see like a bundle of stores over here. And, um, so I'm trying to find the right one. That's the backpack store. So this is the armory store. So this is like where you can, this is essentially where you'll steal all your armor and this is like you're gonna steal because here this is all, it's so expensive and like when you're starting off you don't have that money and like these helmets over here, these are uh, my favorite over there, that's uh, one of them I actually have on my head and uh, we're gonna be stealing one later. So yeah, those are the good ones and basically what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be stealing them and taking them to this place down here in Vekelgard. I, I'm sorry if I butcher that pronunciation, I can't pronounce it. Basically, that's going to turn your stolen items into non-stolen items, and so they can't take it off you. So, the uh, that's the first way. The second way is, it's sort of like a quest. There's going to be a, a guy in like a bar, or outside a bar, I don't remember. It's, uh, it's right by the docks over here. It's right there. And I forget, I'm sorry, uh, I didn't think of it at the time. I was just playing, it was like my second or first or second day having the game and I just wanted to experience it enjoy it you know because it's been like I want to say seven years since Skyrim came out so you know it's been a long time and so what you want to do is you're just gonna come down here by the docks whatever and you can just jump off the walls like I do I mean you won't really get hurt too much if you have your health upgraded I only have my health upgraded to four so I mean even, even though you shouldn't take any damage but uh, there's gonna be a guy around there. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure the bartender might have it. So uh, I'm just gonna show you. It's this is where the guy's gonna be when you take the quest. It's gonna like be all this codes, and he's gonna like ask you some things. I forget. And then basically you're just gonna get knocked out and taken to an island. And um, once you're there, I'll show you what to do from there. But if you've already done that quest and you don't know how to get back to the island, what you can do is you can go to the back and start swimming. But, uh, or you can go to the mage tower and, uh, ask for adventure. It, it's just some lady in the top and you ask for adventure or whatever and she'll take you there. But, uh, to get to the mage's tower, you just want to go up there and, uh, oh, by the way, here's, uh, that's the north. So, there's like a castle block in it. So, if you can find a way around that, then by all means use that. But I'm going to use the mage tower because I never can and video will just be too long so uh, that's the mage tower right there and uh, it's like I can't get to it from there I'm gonna have to go through these steps there. so uh, I don't think you have to be in the mages guild to talk to her I'm pretty sure you don't I mean I am I'm in every guild um, so I guess I get bragging rights so <laughs> what you want to do is you just want to come in here oh I'll, I'll have to get that later and um, I just want to walk in here and uh, when you walk in, you want to head towards the, the back. Is it the back? I think it's back. Not yet, because there's only, uh, yeah, the only door is the back. So once you're in there, there's going to be a lady up here. Uh, yeah. And you just want to skip her dialogue and, uh, oh, oh, shoot. Well, she's taking me someplace. She'll teleport you someplace. Don't go too fast, like I just did. That's a bad example. Because uh, you're going to get teleported. If you ask for adventure, you'll get teleported right behind the island. And, uh, oh, okay, cool, so that's where I am right now. Or, not island, I'm peninsula. Peninsula, I don't know. So, you can jump down in the ocean, I'm just gonna jump, uh, down here, and then into it, so. Here we go. And, for the second time, nice. Stick the landing, 10 out of 10. 
So that's the island right there uh, that you'll be taken to. Uh, you'll have to swim to it if you haven't, I'm sorry. I think there might be another way to take a boat there or something. I just couldn't find it. So, uh, yeah. So here we are. That's actually the boat if you want to get back. And you just want to hop up on these docks right here. Now, uh, of course it won't be that quick. I just cut the footage because then this would be like an hour long video. It's already dragging on a bit long, but it's not, it's not too long. So, um... I'm just gonna let my stamina uh, regenerate a little uh, so I can run. So, um, when you're here, like, you're gonna have, like, no one's gonna attack you. Like, if you do the quest, if you come here, like, without doing the quest, everyone's gonna attack you. Like, see those guys down there are gonna be hostile. If Even if you join, the imps are gonna be hostile, so I'm just gonna take care of this one real quick. Just like that. So... Everyone's gonna be hostile if you come back uh, without doing the quest. Only some will be hostile if you do do the quest. Uh, but, or at least that's my experience. So, on the right, you can see that's the rack of armor. And uh, this is basically where I started off with armor. And it was it's, it's nice armor for the level it is. So, uh, as I take out these guys... Um, so, if you, like, when you get later on in the game, I don't know if there's any in the early towns, you can dye it, and you can make it look really nice, and that's what I, uh, that's what I did. And, uh, so it, it works well. Um, so here's the full set, right there. You got the helmet, legs, and, uh, chest plate. Right there. And then the weapons are right here, and just, uh... The only thing you're missing is the uh, pants and the arms, because you don't really uh, need them. You can just have the helmet, pants, and boots. So, uh, there's nothing really else here. Uh, I mean, that's probably the best part about the island. There's nothing else to do. So, uh, probably just, yeah. Here we are, back at the uh, Skywatch. So, I'm going to show you the method I was telling you about earlier to... Um, get the other items and take them to Vekelgard? Vekelgard, I'm pretty sure. I don't I don't know how to pronounce it. Please forgive me. Also, please forgive me if I sound a bit nasally today. Uh, I'm getting over a cold and I feel congested. <laughs> so, um, what you want to do is you want to go up these stairs right here and then uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, left. So you want to take a left. And then back down to the little plaza, marketplace thing, whatever. And you want to go to the right? No. Yeah. But uh, over here, too, there's some weapons you can steal as well, like an Inferno Staff or whatever. And um, so here we go. We're back at the place. Uh, let me get one of the helmets. Oh, one of the... They're all gone except for the one I have. So I'm just going to take... I'm going to take that one. I don't have that one. So when you take it, you should get a bounty. Now, I recommend, like, doing this without a bounty, because then you'll just get an even bigger one, and the guards will, like, more likely, like, probably kill you. Now, if you do get caught, and they ask you to pay a bounty, don't pay it. Because then you'll lose your items, and it'll defeat the whole purpose of this. Just sprint out to the way shrine right here, and you just want to be fast, because they'll... They won't jump down. I recommend jumping down, because they'll have to take the stairs, and if you're fast, you can travel. So this is a fast loading, so I just cut it. So we are going to go, I think it's over, where is it? It's over, oh, yeah, 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 over here. So you're just going to follow this route over here, and you want to avoid the guards, because like I said before, they'll just take your stuff, and then they can also like uh, crowd lock you, or forget whatever it's called, and you know, it's just a hassle dealing with them. Then if you fight back, you get a bigger bounty, and then you don't want to pay that off, especially if you're starting again, because you don't get much gold. Now, you can also do quests for your armor, but starting off, it's like, maybe a few, like, uh, low-level things don't look too good. Like, these guys over here, you can see, like, they have nice stuff. I'm sure they got it from higher-up quests, but this is still, like, makeshift and stuff. I notice I say stuff a lot. But, uh, you're just gonna come over to the end and to the right, and there'll be a lady here. What and, uh, you can also, you can pay her to clear your bounty. And that's what I recommend, so they don't take your things if you can. So you can sell it right there, which is another way to make money, or you can launder it. And that basically just makes it yours and takes the little uh, icon away. So if you saw before, it had the little uh, penny, like a guy grabbing a penny icon, and now it doesn't. 
So that, that means it's yours, and if you can wear it, and the guards can't take it off you. So that's, I've been wearing my helmet, I've been passing guards, they, they haven't said anything about it. So I'm just gonna put mine back on. And, uh, so, yeah, this is basically, essentially, how you, um, will get it. And, as well, is here's the three stores I like to rob. Mainly the two on the, uh, down to the, uh, over to the right. Because, uh, the one to the left, the farthest one, is, uh... It's more, it's like a backpack store. You can get some items in there, but not much. So, uh, thanks guys for watching. This will come, this is the end of the video. Uh, I hope this helped you out. Please, uh, like and subscribe if you want to. I mean, I'm not forcing you. Yet. So, uh, see you guys later, and, uh, thanks for watching.